we're going to be palpating opponent's pollicis. Opponent's pollicis is the deepest of the three thenar muscles in this area. And it's going to be fairly hard for us to distinguish versus abductor and flexor. Its origin is in the same location as flexor. So previously we had found flexor, but we start by locating the scaphoid moving distally into the palm and slightly towards the thumb. And underneath my thumb right now is the trapezium and specifically its tubercle. Its secondary attachment is the soft tissue known as the flexor retinaculum crossing the wrist in this location right here. Its origin being similar to flexor has a similar pathway except it is not crossing the metacarpophalangeal joint and its muscle is instead wrapping over to the lateral side of the metacarpal. It's fairly deep as I mentioned earlier so it's underneath these two layers so it'll be hard for us to sink directly to it but the muscle goes from approximately this location crossing over and attaching all along the shaft of this first metacarpal. The action of it is to roll this metacarpal in towards the palm, so the active opposition. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show her the action. It rolls the thumb into the palm of the hand like so, whereas flexor obviously is curling the thumb in here. So what we're going to try to ask her to do is to bring her thumb and her pinky together without adding any flexion at these two joints. So if you can do that for me on your own. Good. So that is the active opposition of both first and fifth digit. Now I'm going to get you to try to replicate that one more motion with me, just pushing against my thumb, trying to do the same thing. Great. And I'm going to sink in and go through the flexor and try to find the opponent's muscle underneath. So we're trying to do uh, least amount of flexion as possible and trying just to get that opposition movement. Okay, so there's our palpation from origin to insertion. Now the opponent's pollicis is innervated by the median nerve.